I forgot to, in fact, plug in my controller. Can you believe that? I can. <laughs> All right. Uh. DLC this time, but without also going through all of the hardest areas first. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to go a little bit better. The answer is yes, absolutely. Also, what else? I want to I do a different outfit. Something a little bit different. How about, how about the toxic one? Until I actually... You know, I won't say anything so I don't cancel the stream. Wait, what do you mean? So I won't cancel the stream. <laughs> ah, it's too suspicious. I don't like it. Like five times. I didn't cancel the stream. We kept doing the stream. You know, we just had to restart it a couple times, right? Right? I don't know. That's not the same thing. It's a completely different and totally separate circumstance that does not at all affect the uh, ongoing nature of this current one here. Just finished watching the deck run, servants again. I mean, it's, I didn't do it, so you know. Like, what else am I gonna? What, what else am I gonna say here? I will say something that will force me to, to, to cancel the stream. What is it? What are you going to say? Stop watching Grapefruit's new video? Oh, what is he doing right now? I don't even see what... I don't even see what that guy's been up to lately. Ah. I've been too, too busy with my own stuff. You know, we gotta, we gotta get that, we gotta get out of that content, right? No, but I also just want to do some dead cells already. Right, come on, I haven't... Like, come on, I've been too busy with other stuff for a while now. Ah, Yeah. Also gonna do the, the, the other thing today. Gotta go do a Pocket Kingdom then. What would you say? What, what would I say about what? Oh, the noise update, of course. Why wouldn't I? Was I gonna say something? Uh, whatever. Anyway, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just start this one up here. Why not? No, Pineapple Head. It's like, yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Can't say nothing. Nothing will stop me from doing this stream, evidently. Why not? Oh, all right. You know, let's actually start up the, uh, the, the, the dealio here. Why not? Okay, okay. Let's start this one up then in 5, 4, 3, 2. I don't know why I'm doing the countdown. It's This is just a live thing. I can, YouTube has, like, editing, you know. If, if I want to, like, post-edit a video, I can. Not funny? Didn't laugh. That's, that, that doesn't make any sense to people who don't know specifically the All-Stars version <laughs> of that stupid meme. Okay, anyway... Ugh. Sentence mixing, right? Am I right, kids? Yeah, yeah, I am. Don't even, th don't even say that I'm not. Anyway, okay, so uh... all right, yeah, let's start this one up. I mean, I use the po I use the YouTube editing to edit out that pee break in pseudo regalia, which was, which I hope worked. I don't know. The cool hip uncle. That's me. It's right there in the tags. What's the game plan today? We're going to do it again. I'm going to do the same thing again, but different. But better. <laughs> but better. But do it better. All right. Oh. And in fact, let's get to it right now. Okay. That last run did not go very well. It actually went fine. You know, I thought I thought I did decently well, but it was not enough to actually get the two achievements that I was going for. So I switched outfits. I guess we'll just go down the line at this point until I'm able to beat one of these runs. Surely I'm going to win one of these runs, right? And it's still got killing deck. Same thing. Same thing. Right? There are what? Uh, five, six, six, I guess, with the legendary outfit of 
uh, of, of guardian outfits that I can go with. So as long as I do it before that, we can keep it fresh every single run. I think this one is going to be the one. Certainly, you know, aside from the fact that I uh, did get so desperate in that final boss fight that I did uh, just take out the lifesteal equipment that I had and everything. Now, in my defense, it was a really good piece of lifesteal equipment, the bat uh, with the 1% the affix. You know. The blowpipe was amazing, but I did get healing eventually. So I don't know. It's, 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 it's pretty much the same thing. Hello, Nej. Welcome to the same to the same thing as yesterday, but again. As I continue doing, frankly, a suspicious amount of dead cells at this point in time. How can I say? I've been playing a lot of Binding of Isaac lately. I feel like switching it up now. Still get, I have so many. St I still have so many things I need to do. Ah, there I get to. Get to everything eventually, right? And good. That'll cover healing at least for the very start here. If I'm going to be taking as much damage as I did last time. Certainly, it's weird that I was able to go down two potion charges, then go up two potion charges, uh, back to just like full health, 100%, all potion charges, all that sort of stuff. And then squander them again. <laughs> it's just like it, it, you would think, eh, whatever. Look, it happens like that sometimes, right? Will you just get it already? Okay. Also, you know, maybe not going entirely for. Like going for like a little bit more synergies between stuff would also be doing me. doing me better. I've been hearing stuff about drag on my uh, drag on these nuts dogma balls, uh, too, and it seems like it's more your style now. Is it? Here, let me ask you right now. What is the plot of Dragon's Dogma Two? Because that's something that's something I'm interested in. Also, there was again, mm, a, that's a good a good one for uh, for life steal. Not much room for errors with tactics. Yeah, but the thing is that the errors are supposed to be smoothed out by the fact that, you know, I, I don't um, get hit because I kill enemies too quickly. <laughs> Which is what I wasn't doing. So, you know. No, you don't. Wolf Trap, as nice as that would be, I really do want that look to the little piece of life steal equipment. Also, you know, low level means that I can, um, enemies can take a lot more hits from me. Which, given that I'm ah, trying to go for as much health as possible, is not a bad idea. Which is sort of what I was doing with the uh, with the old the old baseball bat there too. Took forever for enemies to be killed, which is why I could get like 20% health just fighting one of them. Anyway, grab a little bit of you, a little bit of a uh, little bit of life steal. Never hurt anyone. In fact, it heals me quite a bit. All right. Uh, and honestly, no idea. I've been avoiding it just in case. What what could the what could it possibly be? Because you remember the the plot for the the first game. I mean, I did that stupid video. Should I should I like change the name of that video, like in preparation for Dragon's Dogma Two? <laughs> really, really get the rake in those views, baby. Surely people would be a lot more interested in that. Probably not. But you know, I'd like to believe. Planet Earth, turn slowly. Gotta milk them views, baby! Hey, we're on YouTube! I immediately go to my greasy CEO voice every time we talk about it. You know how that is. Finally catch up on streaming? Hello, thanks to... Oh, yeah, uh, was, yeah, I did get like five subs from Upper Austrian like a couple days ago. I don't remember, it, or like maybe even yesterday. I don't know, because I noticed that that appeared on the on the top of the chat there. Was that done off stream? I, I don't know, maybe. I suppose I'll just say thanks for that again. I love you. And then, you know, do the um, bad thing. Uh, Reserved for satisfactory. It fits in satisfactory so well. <laughs> It is the canonical voice of the 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 satisfactory lady. I don't I don't think she has a name. You know, it's just like we got like dead cells, dude, and we got satisfactory woman. It's it. Uh, 
I mean, it's kind of like the canonical way to say that, right? I feel, I feel like that's just that if, if characters don't have names, I just call them protagonists, like in Persona 5. Uh, it's, it's, we gotta come up with some sort of like a, a standardized name for nameless characters in games. I mean, we don't, but what if we did? This is what I presuppose because I'm trying to look through my mutations to figure out what I want to take, and so verbal nonsense is coming out right now. Other than Fancy Dan, we could all we could just call everybody Fancy Dan. That is true. <laughs> Hatsune Miku. Speaking of, should I do the? Should I do the character creator? Is it like what, what's what's the difference? Okay, you know, actually, we, we were talking about like the plot there. What is the actual difference between uh, Dragon's Dogma one and two? Because the gameplay was fine in Dragon's Dogma. I don't really, I don't really think that the gameplay was like bad or anything. It's just mostly the the big thing was that there was kind of like a lack of different enemies to be uh, fighting most of the time. You know, like how many, how many of those, how many uh, 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 Cyclopses can you fight, really? And the answer is six or seven. And you know, of course, the the grind quests, the many grind quests. You know what I'm talking about? Classes work different now. You know that is true. I didn't really even like mess around with the other classes. I just got the one d d doing the the the, <laughs> the big stab. Big, funny, uh, just like, you know, jab into a giant enemy and then, like, uh, start uh, jab. Whatever you call it when you just, like, uh, tw twisting the sword around. There you go. That's what I was trying. That's the word I was trying to think of. Big stab is more viable. I mean, you know, I also never really use, like, the magic either. But, you know. Except for what, like... The levitation that one time to get the one uh, from a different sky metal. <laughs> they bring it back from a different sky? How about that? You gonna be getting that that DLC? Hey. Anyway, new enemies and dead cells. Oh yeah, this is from the end is nigh update. You might notice that they had the cursed skull over the over the, the uh, guys, uh, over the, the door in here, not the guys in here. Uh, also, uh, it says it up on the, you know, top of the map there, too. Which is kind of how you differentiate that sort of thing. They only appear in high cell modes because, you know, curses are, yeah, difficult to deal with. You know, what was being one hit kills in a permadeath game. Yo hoo hoo hoo. That entire thing. Also, climbing enemies just a, a change, so it's more finicky. Ah, alright. Because, I mean, wasn't the original climbing enemies in Dragon's Dogma just, just you know, like the ones that you did, the thing you did in. Uh, Monster Hunter, right? Because I, I thought that's kind of like the same sort of engine, or at least the same sort of style that they were going for. It's probably the same sort of engine. Why wouldn't they just reuse that engine if they already had it? Oh, I got cursed somehow. I don't even know how that happened. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter now, right? Do like Arboretum in terms of just the sheer amount of enemies you can end up fighting. It does make it at least a little bit easier to take out the curses that you might accrue in here, right? Well, the hope might be that I wouldn't get cursed in the first place, but that's probably not gonna happen. Nah, well. It is what it is, is what I say. Anyway, is there, there'll be a curse rework, or the drop of DC completely? As far as I know, I think they're just polishing up this last update, which is what I've been waiting for for a while. Since since uh, October, and then uh, game is going to be complete. You know that entire thing. Hit their leg, and you get a chance to make them fall over and hit their weak point. Wait, do you, so do you even have? Uh, do you have? Uh, do, what do you call it? Uh, uh, climbing at all then? Because like, yeah, it used to be just you know, climb things. You you press the climb button, and then you do big climb. It was a pretty simple. 
good way to do it, right? You know what I'm talking about. You can't. Ugh. No, that can't be right. I just do I mean I suppose I don't You know, it's like I don't know. I'm not gonna play I am not gonna play Dragon's Dogma 2 unless people force me to. I'll say that or maybe I should. Maybe we should just do it. Like, you know, for day one, get right in on it. We're talking about yeah, you know, I brought out the greasy CEO voice. <laughs> Let's get to it right now. What uh, can I just get the upgrade for the deck? Yes. Shots Pierce is also not bad. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's do some good stuff there. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was a bit close, but not close enough to really be all that big of a deal. I just need to make sure that they don't. I mean, I'm sure that's probably not going to be the last curse that I end up getting in this area, though, right? Am I doing outfits review for the Dead Cell when the update drops? Uh, kind of like the head one, heads one? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's sort of what I was thinking. Uh, but overall, I want to do like a big, a big uh, entire like thing. Specifically, uh, it, doing the entire game sort of well, like the head review. <laughs> Where I get a little bit more, where it's less, you know, showing the entire run, a little bit more showing a lot of different things going on. Besides, I also need to get all of the the outfits, too, on top of that. Because, you know, there are still a couple of them that are, let's get you out of the way right now. There are still a couple of them that I uh, don't really, you know. Nah. Oh, there's a cursed chest in here, too. That's fun. That's also good for me getting a lot of extra uh, potential statage here, too. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes. Honestly, I should have just taken that. Uh, I, it's not like the, the magnetic grenade has been doing me a whole lot of good as of right now. Right? What else we got? Am I... What do, I, what do I just went to the next area? I'm already going to get like, getting, like cursed there, too. Why don't I just go knock that out both immediately? What outfits he's still missing? Boss Rush. Boss Rush Flawless, specifically. Because it is just like, yeah. That's, uh, that's the main one, right? Because, of course, it will be. But every other one, I think I should have. I'm missing three of them, at least according to the menu there, which is why I'm thinking, like, it's, it's something. <laughs> I don't know. And also, sure, why not? No mercy. It's a, a, I, like, I like that mutation. Why not? Oh. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, doing, like, boss rush four perfectly is... I've been doing like I, I've been I've been doing practice and everything on that, not like a ton of it I suppose, but oh, it is. I don't like this being foggy to start with. Ch -ch 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 okay, 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 okay. Everybody, quit! Stop that right now! Stop what you're doing, cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I don't like this. But it's working. Yeah, there you go. And keep doing that. Why do you get uh, 20 curses? Because I also got a curse chest in the previous area, too. And then I'm just like, eh, there's not there's barely even 10 enemies here. I'm just gonna go to the next area. <laughs> That's kind of the that was sort of the uh, the thought process there. Is that a good thought process? I don't know. Okay, uh, and right in the back. <laughs> you gotta face the right direction if you want to do a parry. Okay, what else? Thought about playing Factorio on the channel? I mean, I or actually uh, originally Satisfactory was supposed to be Factorio, but I wanted to play Satisfactory instead, <laughs> and then I did. It's it's a lot more pure Factory type of game rather than like the the weird tower defense stuff that uh, Factorio does, which is why I was just like, ah, oh, hell yeah, I want to do that one. 
<laughs> okay, you know what? Here, that was been, it's only been like 10 minutes. Let's just do it again here. Why not? <laughs> ah. You know how that goes. <laughs> ah. Satisfactory is also a lot more comprehensive. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. I got scanned. You you agreed to that. I asked, hey, do you mind if I do satisfactory instead? And you said yes. <laughs> that's fine. And you said that was fine. Plan on the return to the vampire survivors. You missed quite a few updates. Oh, the thing with Vampire Survivors is I like that game, but I don't really think like the updates were making enough of like a huge, a huge game changing difference in like the basic gameplay that I'm just like, eh, I don't know, I've played this for like a hundred hours. I feel like I've gotten my money out of it, right? Ah, you know what I'm saying. I remember we could do like just like a one off or something here. I mean, first off, let's actually go finish the, the Dead Cells thing first. Okay, start this one up then one more time. Ugh. That he got scammed by streamer man. Eh, believe what you want. <laughs> Look, you got you got a lot of satisfactory. You got my pitch for 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 oiled, the beach that makes you oil. <laughs> that wasn't even my pitch. I stole that from second guy. You got like three, four different series, really. But anyway, you still got like more stuff that I have recorded that I still have to go do stuff with. Although at this point in time, I might, uh, I might just end up. Um, since it's been a while since I played Satisfactory, I might just uh, end up deleting some of those, some of those videos just to clear up space on the hard drive, and then just do them over again when I'm actually prepared to start doing commentary over it. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get that space for for um. Peach was wa Peak was watching Satisfactory and Hitman. I, neither of those two series were very popular at all. But yeah, you got me um, drinking Mike's Hard Lemonade and recounting the the premise for a movie that Second Guy made up. <laughs> to Second Guy, who was abs who was giving advice on his own movie premise that he made up. And was also enraptured by it that he made up. <laughs> While again, I had like I did, <laughs> I was just sitting there drinking hard lemonades and just being like, "This is the thing you said. This was your idea." We also got suburban hitman, <laughs> who's a cosmic entity. You're speaking of somebody with a. Uh, Am I not gonna play Wizard of Legend? E Legend of Wizard of Legend 2? No! Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, okay, let's start this one up again one more time. Uh ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, starting that again. Five, four, three, two. Well, that last run did not do too well. However, that doesn't mean they can't just try it again. And this time I've also switched out the outfit for the Toxic Guardian outfit. That's right. I mean, hey, every time that I fail at one of these runs, we'll just go to the next one, right? And then uh, there's like, what, five, six with the, the flawless outfit? Surely I'll be able to finish these achievements by then. Aside from that, it's just, hey, it's Killing Deck again. We're doing Killing Deck one more time. It's only going to take one more time because we're not going to go into, like, the, the bank and everything. I think that was really where I went wrong. After all, the last run that I had was a run where I was able to... Oh, yeah, there you are. I was able to go down two potion charges and then actually get those two potion charges back and then squander them again. So I, I think I can... I think this is a good enough weapon that it's not going to take seven tries to be able to get this stupid achievement. Maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. No, well, you don't. In the meantime, though, hey, uh, surprisingly enough, every one of the items that I got is scaling with tactics. So that's that's a that's a good sign, right? Not that I think that uh, you know the knockback shield is particularly good, but hey, it's something. Poyo power is back. Can you believe we got Poyo power one more time? I can't hardly. Even. I mean, either way, it's probably going to be switched out in about five seconds, but you know. 
We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Who knows? Ugh. Now then. Am I back in tactics? Oh, yeah, if I wanted to... Oh, uh, yeah, people talking about Hitman before this. Oh, yeah, if I wanted to go back to Hitman, there's still plenty of stuff to do. The hell, there's the whole uh, 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 procedurally, procedurally generated mode that they did. The World of Assassination stuff, which randomizes the targets and everything like that. So it's like, we could definitely do that at any point in time. However, as it is, I finished not only that game, but... Uh, the, did, you know, Hitman 1 and 2 as well, so I feel like I've accomplished uh, quite a bit when it comes to coming up with uh, an entire podcast based off of that series. All right, I gotta go get over to the shop ASAP to see if we got something else. Come on, what are we looking at? Just because I'm not gonna be able to get a deck of cards here or lifesteal. You know? I mean, how about that just instead of uh, foil power? <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, it's like, you know, just to pretend that the, the egg hatched, right? That makes sense. That fits within the, the universe of, of dead cells. Foil power, I mean, even though Poyo, you know, would definitely imply a very specific type of bird, uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that was definitely Mokai who wanted the uh, who wanted the Hitman series, and did not even like do that with channel points. Did that with the Cashola, which is why it's just like, well, I mean, fine. Technically, this is three different games, but you know what? You did actually pay for this one, so I'll do it. And then I did, and it's like, you know, and, and I, I I threw in I threw in uh, uh, Silent Assassin suit only. <laughs> Well, for the ending few, but like Silent Assassin for every single mission, uh, gratis there. That was not even a. That was not even something they asked for. <laughs> That's just what happens when you. Well, I don't even know if it's like I. I was just like, oh yeah, I know I'm gonna enjoy this game that much. I just just decided that I needed to play the game in that way. I actually did the same thing with Mark of the Ninja, where I decided for some reason that I'm gonna go with like pacifist run. <laughs> No, no killing of any enemies throughout that entire game. There was no reason for it, but... And, and you know, if anything, I was told, like, after I finished the series, that the uh, uh, person that recommended it to me, or, well, forced me to play it, uh, did, 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 like, kill everybody on their run. It was completely different, so... I how that works out, isn't it? I mean, Hitman certainly is a very different type of game if you try to go, go kill everybody, right? <laughs> Put them all in a great press. You know, for fun. Mark the Ninja is a great game. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, weirdly enough, the two Clay games that I played on the channel are both... Uh, both um, stealth games. That and Invisible Ink. Talked about this plenty of times before, but... Back when, but you know, back when I'm just like, hey, you know what? I want to start up a YouTube channel or whatever. The two games I had were, well, Dead Cells, obviously, <laughs> that I would be largely playing, and then Oxygen not included. I never actually ended up playing that, but it's just like I, I, I thought, you know, one Clay's got a good, uh, good track record of supporting early access stuff, and two, it looked pretty good. Looked pretty good. You watch the entirety of the Persona 5 LP. I mean, a lot of good podcast material, including one point when it just became the... Wow, another cursed one. Oh, fine. Shied away from cursed ones in that last run. Let's just do it. Including an impromptu... Uh, an impromptu uh, Space Jam 2 podcast. The Space Jam cast. <laughs> Which had a theme song and everything. Even though the second guy certainly did... He didn't even mention that the villain was named Algae Rhythm, and I, I feel like that was so important. There's so many different things that I, the second guy glossed over when he was telling me about, uh, well, what am I taking here first off? How about No Mercy? I like No Mercy. I, especially since I'm still using a base level equipment, being able to kill enemies a little bit faster is probably good as well. 
Oni? No, oxygen not included, as in 2017 oxygen not included. <laughs> as in the one that came out roughly around the same time the Dead Cells did. Also in early access. It's a base, ah, base building, uh, like management management game, where, despite the name, oxygen is in fact included uh, in the form of oxalite, a mineral that creates oxygen, but does eventually disappear. But the point is that you do get that at the very beginning. Of the game. Oh, also 3D printing humans, which is a ghastly concept if you were to ask me unless <laughs> only has the 2001 anime game yeah i know what you're talking about was that the one that came out for like playstation 2 i feel like that's one of those that's one of those like uh uh used game or like game renting mainstays that you saw all the time but n nobody ever actually rented <laughs> uh, eh, it was pistol and machete good enough for, like, lifesteal. I don't think so. Nah, you know, I did talk about using Star Fury last time, too, and just didn't end up doing it. I mean, that'd be, I mean, that'd be a fun one to do. Why not? Well, yeah! Right, 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 right. I can't forget about the curses. Gonna have to deal with that in here now, aren't I? Uh... I miraculously not watch Persona. Ah, oh, it's only like 10% of the channel's content. We're coming in at 117 videos. It is probably never going to be dethroned as the longest series, like the longest officially numbered series that I've done. Oh boy, that's a, that's a big one. That's a big game. <laughs> Some might say too big. I would say that. In fact, I would say exactly that. They made the game too big. Then maybe, like, you know, it, one of the one of the things that we said pretty much every single episode is that their backspace, the, the script writer's backspace key appears to have broken because nothing was left on the cutting room floor. And, okay, okay, okay. We can't just talk about Persona 5 for another three hours again. I refuse to do that. I refuse to subject the viewership to that. Let's be real. We already got 117 episodes. Wow, that disappeared right before, right before it hit me. You don't need any more. Hey, if you want to force me to play any one of the other Persona games, <laughs> and I suppose I'll force Second Guy to also watch again. You know how to do it. We have we have specific avenues in which you need to go through to force me to play games. Man, ranting about Persona 5 in a Dead Cells episode brings you back to... Hey, you, here's the thing. I never stopped talking about... I never stopped thinking about Persona 5. Y'all just stopped asking me about it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, occasionally when I'm just like, you know, driving to go get coffee or whatever. By the way, uh, yesterday I spilled a bunch of coffee in my car. That, that was... Dude, that has nothing to do with anything. I just thought you might want to know. I mean, I mean, really, the real tragedy was me losing about half my coffee. Um, what if a Yakuza? I'd play a Yakuza game. I would have a lot of fun with the Yakuza game. Yakuza games are really good. I I love the Yakuza series. They're wacky and dumb. Although I've only ever seen like uh, Yakuza one and two. Well, to a. What kind of coffee? It was mocha. So, you know, it, it had the, both the cream and and sugar in it, which is great. It was only about half the coffee, so, you know, I still was able to get most of it. But, you know, also, like, it's not like I have a whole lot of pants around here. I need to make sure that I don't be spilling coffee on them right now. That's a weird thing for me to say, but it's also a true thing, so, well... I gotta go get more pants. All my zippers keep breaking. What is this stream? I feel like I should just start this stream over because of these terrible... <laughs> because this is the worst... Is this the worst commentary I've ever done for any one of these streams? Potentially. I got 60 kills at least. Ah, oh, you know what? It's going pretty well. Yakuza 0, Kiwami, half Kiwami 2. Yeah, it's like, no. I, I, the thing is, like... Back in the day, back in the day, back in like 
old, old LP times. I watched a, a playthrough of 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 uh, Yakuza One and Two. Yakuza One was the one where they had Mark Hamill as uh, Majima, which is weird. I don't even think he remembers playing that character, <laughs> but it's just like yeah, when they when they actually had dubs, they didn't just do uh, ah, they didn't just keep the original voice acting. Yeah, it was a different time. A PlayStation 2 time, I guess. Ah, he actually got it. Unfortunately, I got cursed at the same time. So, what are you going to do? Hey. <laughs> so many of you care. I mean, I, to be fair, that is a that is a, a, a conversational topic that does come up an awful lot somehow on this channel. But, you know, what can I say? Well, here's what I'll say. I'm not going to talk about it this time to make sure that... Ugh. If I don't taint the commentary here anymore. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't talk about, like, you know, the state of my car more often than not. Yes. <laughs> at the same time, though, it would... I mean, yeah, my car definitely could do it with, like, a deep cleaning. You should go out there now that it's a little bit sunnier and all that sort of stuff. Go, uh... Go get the, go get the full... Okay, didn't get cursed. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes with the amount of stuff happening if you accidentally somehow got hit by projectile here or not. You know, like do do like a full vacuuming, go and get like a shop vac type of thing, all that sort of this. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, the Yakuza g games are fun. It's like it's a it's it's, it's a very it's a very wacky series, <laughs> which I enjoy. But anyway, uh, get rid of that. I keep on going here. Never played any of them. Also, that's probably Mark Hamill's most important role. <laughs> ah, Mark Hamill, you're going to be playing the Joker. Again. <laughs> well, like literally, no. But like mostly. <laughs> you, 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 look, look. You're a good fit for the role. I'm just saying. Yeah, all right. Shouldn't play Metal Gear. I actually did have that on the list. You know, I don't remember who who told me to play it because, like, I took it off because I'm just like, ah, so overplayed though. Come on. Don't get me wrong. It's a great game and everything, but also, eh, eh it would be like if people told me to go play, uh, I don't know, like Undertale or something. I'd probably just be like, yeah, but everybody's played Undertale. It's like, should I really? Are you sure? Get rid of you. Do not want to get curse. It's got some pretty aggressive homing on those curse projectiles. Well, technically, it doesn't even hurt you. Just emotionally. Because you're cursed. You know what I'm talking about. It reviews different <laughs> brands of pants. You! Alright, I, I've definitely talked about this before, right? Like, my, my style as a person is... Uh, jeans and a single colored t-shirt. That's the, the only thing I wear. I've got some like nicer clothing for work. But then again, I'm already... Uh, I I'm, I'm unemployed right now. So like what... I, here, you want to tell you what I'm wearing right now? I'm wearing a pure green shirt and a pair of jeans that the zipper broke off of but that's because i'm in i'm in the home i'm not you know gallivanting about town <laughs> right i haven't worn sweatpants in years really now have you played sifu is a uh, kind of roguelike is it i don't even know that uh, i have heard of that before reviews different brands of pants i mean you know what does have a lot of brands yakuza <laughs> it's a very it's a, you know I'll, I'll drop the yeah, i want more help Gallivanting is a great word. I was trying to think of something there, but gallivanting was the only one that I could, could come up with. <laughs> okay, what to do? Networking, I still think, is pretty good. Point blank is probably going to come up a lot more, though. Cartoon character ass wardrobe. Yeah, well, whatever. It makes it really easy to draw me, I guess. 
if you had any idea what I looked like. Imagine that. Imagine people being able to see you, not me. Uh, Blade of Tonfa's obviously not really going to be using that one. Yakuza's minus a few years of your life, decide to play them all. I mean, you know how many, uh, you know how many epi uh, episodes, you know how many, um, yeah, Final Fantasies I played so far on the channel? Uh, f f five? I got that, uh, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, Strangers of Paradise. Yeah, five. Building the AI art generator. I mean, you say that, but people have indeed, have indeed, like, you know, compiled together an AI uh, creation of my face from that one point in time that I had a, a channel point reward for um, me showing, like, one square centimeter of my uh, countenance. Let me see if I can go and find that real quick. <laughs> eh, taking a look, taking a look. Come on, I know I got it here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, it looks like this right here. Yeah. Okay, no, not quite like that. It looks like this. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> there I am. No, I, I do have eyeballs, though. I want to make that clear. Cool. <laughs> uh, just, just put the, just put jump scare right in the, uh, right in the stream here. Surely somebody already has it open on a tab. <laughs> Just so they can longingly look over it on the other screen there. Occasionally. That's when an eyeball is... I, but the thing is, I've shown my... I've shown my eyes. Well, I've shown at least one eye before. Due to, again... What a weird... Why did I decide to do that? The whole thing where I'm just like... You know what? One square centimeter of my face. I mean, I think it was specifically my body, but... Why, I, why would anybody ask for anything other than my face? Anyway, I retired that when it became when people started to become too able to piece together pieces of my the weird. Why did I do that? You you got too close to the truth. No, I couldn't have that. Uh, anyway, the I also don't have like a um a, a wooden mustache or whatever that picture gave me. It, it, well, you just hit the guy. Ugh. How come there's a dog paw on the right side? <laughs> it's not a dog paw. That's for some reason the AI decided that I, I I lived in a place with wood paneling. I don't, but you know you tell the AI that, right? Take him out. The card is mightier than the poison dagger, right? That's how it works. I believe that's how the phrase goes. But it's like I did. I also don't have any dogs near me either. I mean, I did, did, did no pets, right? Oh, okay. You know, as long as I just keep on enemies uh, enough, it seems like I can just kind of take them down pretty easy, regardless. So I'm not gonna argue with that. Seems like a very workable solution is right now. Now, we got anything else? Since I just cannot seem to get any more decks or oh, cards. Oh, that's not bad. But why not? I mean, after all, it's like, big things that I'm trying not to, uh, uh, I'm trying to actually have a good run this time, so, you know. You know what I'm saying. Seems like taking, perhaps, a little bit more powerful than normal type of things and not just having... Okay. Except for all of the the puppy girls in the chat. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't like that. It sounds too much like Discord kittens or something. And I don't know what that is. And I don't want to know what that is. But it doesn't sound good. Don't tell me, chat. Yeah. 
Oh, something like that. I like cats more than dogs. You know, I have, I have, like, I was just thinking. It's like, you know, I haven't pet a dog in a while. I'd like to do that at some point. Ah. I should go find some dog petting related place that I can go to. Maybe like go outside. That that that, that would maybe be a good idea, but eh, 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 it's probably fine. Anyway, God, I need to get an upgrade for these these cards already. Because these are not really doing a lot of damage, all things considered. Also, I thought I thought my character for a second was an enemy. <laughs> Kind of has that, uh, kind of has like the, uh, the coloration of the, idiot, uh, coloration of the, the, rampagers, right? What a fool, that guy thinking he could get me before I parried him. You're not going to be able to do that. I know the parry time. Okay, you two, you two, anything else? Eh. Any any more elites want to jump into my face? Should you keep knockback shield? I don't. I, like, knockback just doesn't really work that well. Like I, I, what I'd like to get is I'd like to get thunder shield. Now that's a good high quality sort of tactic scaling shield. Sort of thing that you want to look for. Got 60 kills and it does not matter at all. Some good stuff. I didn't say it worked, I said keep it. Oh, there we go. Getting the big stats. That's going to make the big difference, potentially. Well, if I'm getting a, a, a second full stat in this area, it makes going here certainly a lot more worthwhile than usual. Uh, da, 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 da. No extra jumps. Sort of the one thing that I would be, bleh, that I would be looking for there, right? But at the same time, hey, get hit there, but that didn't do that much damage. So I'm just going to say, good enough. A completely and totally acceptable loss of HPs there. Whatever. Now, if only I just picked up a... <laughs> hey, it's been long enough since I got into the ossuary that it's actually an incentivized biome. How about that? <laughs> How often has how long has it been since that that's happened? Ah. But yeah, I've played a ton of games on the channel. I, I feel like I feel like uh, doing all of the yakuza. That's the sort of thing you might think like a yakuza or whatever. Pretty long games. However, the reality is that once you edit down a lot of the uh, you know like random battles and stuff like that, and keep most of the story, probably not going to be nearly as long. Unless it's like Persona. Where, you know, <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 there's a, there's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue in that game. But aside from that, I don't think Yakuza is quite the same. Like a lot of the length comes from the, uh, the sort of secondary things that you can do, right? Like owning a host club and whatever. <laughs> I don't think it would be all that long if I ended up playing those games. And I'm just saying, if people made me, and you know the, the you know the proper avenues to force me to, money, um, or you know channel points or money, <laughs> I'd be down with it. I'd do it. Absolutely. What that tells location is you at least visited, and why is it the distillery? I think you know exactly why it's the distillery. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's also like, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm. no, it's probably the, the, the distillery, right? Box car racing. Oh, and, and like doing, and doing like karaoke and everything too. It's like, there, there's, there's so many dumb things that, mm, it's a powerful heavy turret. Also, it does burning oil stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And 25% more if I'm near it. Oh, that might this might be a bit risky. It might be a bit risky, but I don't know. I think it's worth it. I like the style here. Just need to make sure that I have something that does burning. Great Owl of War does, but only when things are already dead. Eh, let's see how this works. 
I don't know. I I think I think this is gonna be good. This is like, a, you know, as far as uh, getting 100% damage given and taken on skills, this is probably one of the better ones. I'm just gonna say it. There's not too many that I think that 100% uh, extra damage is super worthwhile for. This would definitely be one. Eh, whatever. Distillery. Like, that was the one thing that I didn't do in that last run. Go into the distillery, right? Because <laughs> that would have just, I guess, instantly ended the run, right? Certainly after going into the... After going into the bank and getting absolutely destroyed there, I uh, would say that would not have been a good idea unless I had been going like this route in the first place. Hey, box car racing. I didn't even know they did that in there. Also a lot of, uh, I know there's also like a lot of um, uh, 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 in-game advertisement, what that's called, uh, product placement too, which is also fun in its own way. Just saying, I like the Yakuza series. I would absolutely play one of those games. Okay, well, how is this gonna go? Twin Dagger's not really the most useful thing. Yeah, I really, I would really like to go and find an upgrade for the cards, but it is just not happening right now, now is it? Ah, uh, whatever. Look, just run around here. I'm, I'll, I'll get it eventually, right? One of the few things that I actually do with custom mode is making sure that I have a lot higher chance of getting specific, uh, specific stuff. Yeah. Bag him down. Three left. You can do it. Okay. I knew you were there, by the way. Okay. There we go. This guy, on the other hand, I think I'm actually going to want it. Hey, see? Oh, hey. I mean, I guess I'm going to keep using knockback shield if they're going to keep giving me good versions of it, right? Why don't you play with the curse aspect that removes the one-hit death penalty? Because I want to... I don't know. Well, actually, specifically, I'm trying to get achievements here, so that would turn off achievements if I tried to do that. But honestly, it's like, eh, I try to keep the game mostly vanilla if I possibly can. Not for any particular reason, but mostly just like, oh, here we go. Personal preference. That's true for, hmm, true for pretty much any any game I play, to be honest. Victims burn when they die, increases movement after critical hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not bad. I need something that does burning. Gotta go replace the owl with burn. Don't re remove achievements, only custom mode can. Oh, I thought they could. Ah, whatever. At the same time, it's like, it's like, like I said, personal preference, really. This is already so much more powerful. Look at that. Hey. Missing achievements that I got all of them. There are still, like, a couple here and there that I'm missing. Like, this one that I'm going for right now is... Beat the Guardians with, uh, beat the Guardians wearing one of their outfits, and uh, beat the Queen with the killing deck. You know, it's like nothing nothing that would be nor done in normal runs, just ones that usually require some sort of specific condition to be fulfilled that I just, eh, uh, 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 <laughs> but I'm doing it now. And I'm already feeling like this one is, Victims burn. No, not when they die. Just victims burn is what I want. That's all I want. Beating the queen by throwing her off the cliff. Yeah, I have actually tried that one a couple times, and it is just... Uh, it's it's not that easy to do. I mean, of course, there's only really one that... There's only really one uh, item that works well for that. Spartan sandals. But yeah, that's one that I might... Uh, that would probably be more worthwhile to do on a... 
on a, um, like, normal mode rather than going full five cells, right? But now the deck kill? Well, that's actually a pretty good item, so, you know. As you can see, if you're not working with, like, base level stuff, I'm just, I am just, like, three hitting a lot of these enemies. By the way, I have extra stats, but not that many. Look at it go. It is a good item. What do you got? Hey, here we go. Okay. Getting more stats by the minute here. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, you know, Gilded Yumi also is probably a good one, too. But I feel like Gilded Yumi would almost do too much damage. Yeah, I forgot that they did it. They did alter that weapon to be a lot more friendly when it comes to knockback stuff. Because, you know, most knockback things, the um, knockback doesn't really work on elites and bosses. That is true. They changed that up for the Gilded, for the Grilded Yumi. The sequel to the Grilled Cage episode. I almost missed it. Uh, assault shield works? Really? I don't know. I did that. That I did not expect. Huh? Not really a good move. Got extra jumps. Uh, nothing really too different. Would give me a little bit of extra health, but the extra jumps are really the only thing that's going to be super useful here. War Spear? Would War Spear work? Or are you thinking of Impaler specifically? But Impaler has a very small sort of um, pushback on it. I don't know if it would do too much. Okay, took a bit of damage here, but that is okay. Mm, and there you go. Uh, what else? I mean, okay, I lost my 60 kills, but I lost my kill count, but that doesn't really matter. I already got the 60. She can teleport back sometimes. I mean, she doesn't die immediately after getting kicked off. She just takes some damage, which is, you know, usually how bosses do it if they have a fall-off mechanic in the first place. Spartan sandals for what? I, uh, Spartan, Spartan sandals, for example, will just totally mess up the Hand of the King's AI. Doesn't really do too much damage, though. All right, all right, all right. Anything else I need to get, or can I just leave from right from right here? I think I can. I think I'm good. There we go. I was talking about Impaler Christian uh, triggered the platform edges. Yeah, I, Impaler's still a decent weapon, even just by itself. It does, it is like a nice, fast, well, there you go. Uh, nice, fast brutality weapon, which, you know, is good. But it is, it is like, it does uh, lose some abilities when you are, of course, going up against bosses. That entire thing. But that uh, is just, I, th th that's the whole thing. A lot of, a lot of pushback weapons, just not really as good because of limited usefulness against the most powerful weapons, you know? And all this uh, increased speed here too. Just gonna make, I'm gonna try and get that legendary item. All right. Okay, there we go. Always the scariest thing when you got the concierge walking at you. Look out! He's walking! There you go. Ah! Easy. Flawless servants. Yeah, same thing. Same here. Now, I put that one off for so long. I only ended up doing it for the burns. Burns ground when the effect ends. I guess that's something. <laughs> That, that one I, I put off until I ended up doing uh, the, the head showcase because, you know, got to get that uh, flawless achievement for the for the flawless torch head. It is, uh, it's so annoying. Mostly because it is an entire stage followed by a boss fight that, that has boss fights interspersed with it. All right, fine. Well, <laughs> so much for getting rid of Great Owl of War. Jeez. Shots pierce all enemies, two times damage. This is some pretty high quality stuff. Not quite. Well, this is, this is an interesting. 
It's an interesting go. <laughs> well, you know what? We haven't done Sanctuary for a while, and I have, like, full potion and everything. Let's go! Let's have some fun, everybody. Wasn't the owl on the ban list for a while? Yeah, but that was, that was, this is, this is achievement hunting, baby. This is not, uh, this is not like, you know, challenge run, right? This should, this should be me using whatever, I pressed the wrong button. This should be me using whatever I can to be able to accomplish this achievement. And although I'm not using, like, aspects, it's like that, th those also should not really be off the table, right? The card table. Because, wh why not? All right, let's go already. I'm willing to do this. Oh, lantern. Uh, of course, lantern is really not. It's taking up two slots and everything, and he being melee most of the, most of the time. Uh, uh, where are you at, y'all? Feel like I am in danger right now, but it's looking all right. Ah, there you go. That's the danger. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, ah, my, I, I, I clenched my toes. I clenched my toes so hard when I had that elite to teleport to me. I gave myself, my, my foot, my foot started cramping up. <laughs> uh, can't even believe that's a thing I can do. Okay. Do I have a Patreon? Nope. No, I... I, I, of course, give it all away for free. <laughs> Maybe I should actually do that at some point in time. I mean, given that I still am unemployed right now. But, no, 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 no. Something to think about. I still get the 75% uh, damage reduction. I think that would be pretty useful at least some point in time in the future. Uh, you know, I want to sub monthly, but I always forget about Twitch. Yeah, I, I, I could also do that. Uh, there's also the YouTube, uh, ah, uh, the, the membership thing where I can put all my, my ASMR streams underneath that. <laughs> put the one singular ASMR video in there when I beat up Dracula. Loving boyfriend fights Dracula, but then dies. ASMR. <laughs> Sub only Vor podcast. Oh boy. It's called Viciously Voracious. Um, wait a second. Uh, how much play do I, time do I have in Dead Cells? Ah, well, first off, let me check what it is right now. I haven't done that for a while. Two thousand one hundred and ninety-eight point two hours. Don't do it for Yulia's sake. Yeah, really? <laughs> Still have. Like the scriptures one with the Bible. That was the Bible run, wasn't it? The one where, where I just straight up read Bible verses for some reason. All these stupid, stupid uh, things that I do. So I wonder anybody watches this. <laughs> you get out of here. Damn, that's quite a lot. I mean, it's like, yeah. I like this game. I mean, to be fair, I've played a lot of games. I, I've also I got I got like nearly twelve hundred hours in Binding of Isaac too. It's like if I if I really like a game and there's a lot of stuff to unlock, it's like I will play thousands of hours. We're also talking just about a uh, uh, Satisfactory earlier too, which is a game that I have over a thousand hours in as well. It's called Endo Fenera. Uh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is that is the official podcast on the channel. No, you don't. Nice try, idiot. You're not going to get me with that, though. I'm, like, one-shotting everything. How about that? There are some good cards. These are some good, high, these are some good high-quality card stock. Uh, I expected you to have more in Isaac. I, well, I can tell you exactly... Yeah, I can tell you exactly how much I've got here. Uh, da, 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 don't look at the bundle of Ibex. It's 1,389.2 hours. What's the game with the most playtime? Dead Cells. <laughs> no, you're, you're looking at it. You are looking at it right now. Used to be for a really long time Terraria, actually. Ah! Hey! Da, 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 da. I was so close. I'm fine. But that was still pretty close. <laughs> I didn't see the worm there. 
Nearly got me and taking a lot of extra damage right now. I mean, yeah, it looks good right now, but then the second that I actually take any damage at all from anything, it's going to be a lot, uh, going to be a very different story. Oy. I won't die, but I should probably take disengagement at this point in time, just as, like, a little bit of insurance, right? Yeesh. Playing with fire here. Unfortunately, I'm not actually playing with fire because that would be a pretty good boon to the amount of damage I'm doing. If I find like a necklace that has, you know, ground burns sort of stuff, that'd be worth taking. That'd be worth taking. Long hallway. Don't think I've ever seen you do a, pl a dry playthrough. What? I've done several. I, I, I did a stream of it once on YouTube. I got drunk and made everybody a mod. And that's why I can never stream on YouTube again. Oh, but also there is like an... I, I did a master mode playthrough when that came out, so... You can look that one up if you're interested. I thought it was pretty good. I actually don't... I don't really remember too much from that series. I think it went pretty well. I think it went pretty well. Yeah, attack runs tend to go very well until they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you never know. We're gonna just carry this one and carry this one right to the end of the game, right? I think it could work. Oh no! Of the thousand plus videos that I've posted up, you haven't seen every one of them. <sighs> How come you haven't watched everything? Like my. There you go. See, I was looking for something like that. Uh, I mean, how come you haven't watched everything? Like my playthrough of uh, Gloom, or or uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, or um, both both one-shot videos. <laughs> come on, can you really call yourself a fan? If you you haven't seen, can, can you really call yourself a fan if you haven't seen a uh, Resonance of Fate, <laughs> Momodora Four? Or 13 Sentinels, yeah. There's good. What's your favorite part of the Witness series? Come on. Residents of Fate was good. Residents of Fate is... <laughs> I, I really like it as a game. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> Look at this story. So bad. <laughs> well, we did get Cardinal Pater out of it, so... At least I like that guy. He was fun. 100% of that game. The four-hour dungeon and everything. That's because I actually genuinely liked a lot of the... Uh, I don't know, elites coming in. It's because I genuinely liked a lot of the uh, the combat. I think it's really good. Feel like I missed a lot of your videos. Yeah, how come you haven't seen me do uh, uh, the, um, the full playthrough of of uh, uh, the Hyper Light Drifter, for example? What about Purple? Have you watched Purple? I love purple. Genuine, still one of my favorite uh, indie games of all time. But I want to wait until, uh, but basic, and I want to eventually do like a re another playthrough of that game. But I want to wait until you know I'm not like super floundering as far as uh, stats go on the channel <laughs> at all points in time. First new year's Dead Cells. Well, I mean, I've been playing Dead Cells the entire the six years that I've been doing the channel. Six years, as it were. I haven't even heard of Purple. That was like one of the first series that I did. I, I think like uh, the channel basically goes Dead Cells and then like Hyper Light Drifter and then Purple. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, there was also a, a, a Brain Lord in there too. Shouldn't forget about that. But like, yeah, that's the old, that's the old, 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 old stuff. You know how that is. I remember I also did a stream of, uh, no, 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 not this time. You're not getting me this time. <laughs> I also did a stream of purple right before uh, the 1.0 version of Dead Cells came out. So, you know. Hyper Light Drifter. It's like I've, I, I, I've done two, I've done two, well, quote unquote, series on Hyperlight Drifter. One was the original one that I did, where I basically did like 100%, including the horde mode, including like 
uh, uh, the new game plus, including um, low low uh, item boss rush, all that sort of stuff. Only thing I didn't do was uh, the Dash Eternal achievement because I got like a lot. I, I got really far into it and then I failed it. <laughs> and I was just like, no, you know, uh, it's not worth it. I, I, I put a I put a an apology from the creator of the game in the because you can just edit the credits. <laughs> of that game. It's just a, it's just a a text file. I remember. By the way, no, I, I've never actually talked to the creator of Hyperlight Drifter. I just pretended that I did for a bit. <laughs> what a stupid thing! I, I have a, I run a stupid channel. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mokai, by the way. I love you. 59 gift subs. There are 10 more. It's, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. You never want to joke about that sort of thing unless somebody actually does it. Ugh. I'm watching the vids bond and off for years, and I don't even know how long it's been. It's It's been a grip and a half. You know, the funny thing is, despite the fact that I constantly take, like, two weeks off for no particular reason all the time, I still have a lot of videos on the channel. <laughs> It's a weird that it's like uh, how long I've been doing this and the, the weird ups and downs and whatnot. Ben had it doing this sort of thing. And now, in 2020, in the year of our Lord, Anno Domini, 2024, I'm finally on that grind set. Will I actually be able to start doing consistent uploads and, like, good content? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying. I feel like I've been doing good on Dead Cells for the past few days. <laughs> Ooh, stats. You know how that is. Been a while since the last cut. It. Only the ghost remember. Phantom does such a good game. That's like actually a game, a game more people should know about. That's a... That is one of those games that it's like... Nope. Take it down. But it's like more people should be aware of... So that they can uh, rip off the the gameplay, because of course you know it's not like Xbox is going to be doing much of anything with that property. Been doing good content for six years. Eh, I don't know. I feel like stuff like Thirteen Sentinels and whatnot. It's like, or or the Persona Apocalypse, right? A tentacle run? No, I've already done a tentacle run. I had that one really good tentacle run when they when they told totally messed up how scaling works. That one update, <laughs> it actually made tentacle pretty good, like emergency door. They played Ender Lilies. I I've seen it before, have not played it myself. It seems very uh, Hollow Knight, right? That's the one. Yeah, whatever. I can do better. Even this right now, I don't think it's particularly good, given that we aren't even, like, talking about Dead Cells. <laughs> but, you know, what do you do? Whatever, look, this is a very casual sort of run, and I like just doing chatty type of stuff on the casual. On the cash stuff. Stop blocking my cards. <laughs> You're making this so much harder than it needs to be. Oh, hey, 60 kills. Coming up in about five seconds here. Oh, yeah, there's a swarm. I, I, wasn't it Swarm and Tentacle? I remember that I combined two two of them into one to kind of like be like, hey, this is the one time. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. We get the one time these weapons are going to be particularly powerful. It was Gilded Yumi? I think I the Gilded Yumi run, wasn't that the one that I just called I do not like the Gilded Yumi? <laughs> Like, or like, I hate this weapon and I have no respect for it. <laughs> Something like that. Call it a casual run. That's 2,000 hours, baby! That's how it goes! I mean, I'm sure that it's like, you know, a... Uh, 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 somebody who is like a, an Olympic level athlete or something could probably be doing the exact same thing and just be like, yeah, we're just doing a casual marathon today. Oh, I've been training so much, so we're just gonna go, go do the, you know... Take a run around the entirety of New York City. Casual. Go get a periscope. We'll talk the entire time. 
Have you played Clannad? You know I've played Clannad. I did I did an entire route there, uh, Sunahara's route, of course. How can you forget about Clannad? You can't, and I, I, I know you didn't. I absolutely know you did it. Well, yeah, like, you know, how many... Oh, uh, Alucard Sword can get the shield. Nah. I mean, it'd be fun. Maybe I should have gotten it just to be able to get the shield to sell it, too. I don't know. Well, yeah, come on. If you're like a real OG, you should know about games like uh, Tomb of Friends. <laughs> Want to play through that? Come on. Uh, that's everything. You should have watched the entirety of the five hour net hack episode. <laughs> uh. Also, you should watch um you should watch Cogmind. That's a good that's a good series. It's a good game. Uh, watch Cogmind and Tower Climb and um Phantom Dust. Now those are some high quality series. Uh, didn't watch Persona 5 just be, just because I put a lot of work into that series. And I'm proud of the amount of work that I put into the series, even though the series itself was kind of bad. Of course it is. Y'all got to stop talking about Clannad. I'm not going to play Clannad again. I gave you, I gave you the gift of, of actually playing the video game Clannad instead of just, wow, look at this go. <laughs> Uh, instead of just watching the anime. And that's how you repay me. And that's how you repay me. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about, uh, chances of this run going well. We'll see, though. That lighthouse. You know that lighthouse. Yo, that game's like a hundred hours long if you... That's... Whoops. Uh. Well. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, maybe I can still go... I mean, you don't know. Is there another exit from this place? I just went into the first door because I was looking at chat. <laughs> um, routing decisions were not made but forced. I forgot that you just... <laughs> that that's not the first... The, the, the exit is not the first door you see. And I just went the first... It, whatever. It'll look. I think the, 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 they've, they've increased the amount of places that you can go from the Castlevania DLC. I, there might You might still have an exit over to the thing anyway. Don't whelp. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Come on. Now. Ah, whatever. Look, it's fine. It's not over yet. All right? Our streamer. Our streamer, comrades. Hello, Dracula. See, you, the, the, messing around with my sight is not going to stop me from absolutely obliterating all of your, your dudes. It's over. It's not over! It's not over until it's over, really. Yeah, all right, let's do this. I think I can take you down real quick. There you go. See? It's Jover. It's Joe Arida. <laughs> no, it's not. I love Joe. I, I love the phrase Jover. Um, but no, it's not. It's not. I want to do three. Hey, hey, this is not a bad item. It's not a bad item at all. Real. Got enough energy to do another run. Yeah, but do you want to do another? Hey, nice. 
And also, it's the Castlevania themed one. Um, I mean, but it's in one. It's not over. Let's get up. Let's get up to the top of the area and see if they happen to add another exit to the lighthouse here. They might have. They did that with these areas recently. All right, we'll see. Hey, Upper Austrian, we were talking about you earlier. Because I think you might have given five subs when I was offline. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen a live run. Yeah, it's also been a while since I've been streaming. So busy with other other nonsense lately. And again, that, that grind set, right? <laughs> Whatever. Did, did, look, did, did, all you did was make sure that, that guy couldn't teleport. All right? Don't get too ahead of yourself. Boys, those were the easy ones. So that's from Sonic Heroes. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> and just, just keep clearing my way. I want to read chat right now, but I'm just like, I really can't look away from the screen. That would be... Death. I would die. Oi. Anyway. Chicken El Pastorval. But they forgot to put the chicken in. But that's literally what you did. I was just hearing about that, actually. So, how is it? Is it any good? I can go for that tonight. Because mm. it's like a specific way, like adobo, right? Chicken. Just beans, rice, and lettuce. Well, yeah, I suppose it's just like, how how good is it? Doesn't really matter if you didn't get the chicken now, did you? <laughs> kind of an irrelevant question. <laughs> Still, though. God, I'm, ge I'm getting kind of hungry. I did load up on a lot of Brussels sprouts before the stream. Like, God, so... So many. But, you know... It is, uh... Doesn't necessarily mean that I can't eat an entire burrito right now. God, so many. Oh, I mean, those things, they, they, they really pack a lot of sprouts in those Brussels, let me tell you. Get out of here. Did you roast them with garlic? No, I put them in a food processor and then drank them with water. Just, well, ate, ate them? I don't know. I, I, I've described this before. It's just like the way I'm actually like eating these vegetables is like a like a like a competitive food person where I put them in my mouth, chew them up a couple times and then uh, immediately and then gulp it down with water. Yes. Y yes. Seriously. Why would I joke about this? You know, funny thing is there is an achievement for beating a uh, Dracul with a vampire killer, which I think was bugged for a while. Hmm. So, worst comes to worst, that might be something to do. That might be something to do. I'm just saying. Brussels sprouts give me gas. Yeah, any sort of, uh, what are they called? Cruc cruciferous vegetables do that. Unless you've been eating literally pounds of them daily for the past two months. <laughs> Let's just say that uh, at that point in time, your uh, digestive system actually really acclimates to it quite well. Extremely well, in fact. Um, but, you know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, got a bre grandfather making me a back breakfast burrito. Mm. <laughs> I had to block <laughs> See, not only are we not getting rid of the clanad blocking, we're actually making it worse over time. Or you blow up. I don't know. I just, Maybe for you. I'm doing just fine. Yeah. I am doing just fine. I'm doing better than ever. Right? Anyway, make a breakfast burrito because it's really good and gave me a cooler full of them. Damn, that sounds good. I don't know, though. I, I, breakfast burritos do have, like, a sausage in them, though. I don't really. I'm not somebody that eats sausage, which is, again, a weird thing to say, but, well, it is true. <laughs> nope, I do think I am stuck fighting Dracul. Well. <laughs> Dracula, did you make that door unable to be uh, broken down? I can't believe you do that. 
Because I definitely rolled into it. You all saw it. <sighs> ah. Talk exploded the next day. What an awful way to go. Yeah, I ate too much. Uh, yeah, I ate an entire head of cabbage and just exploded. That's <laughs> how it goes sometimes, right? Oh, glad you're feeling healthy. I, I'm honestly not feeling that much different, but, you know, I trust that I'm healthier. I don't know. Another 100% damage. Well, this one is not. Mm -mm. You know what? Uh, nothing really specific here I can get for affixes, but I could also always just, you know, re-roll it here, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't enjoy it. I, it's, it's horrible. <gasps> but I do it anyway for, for health. Like, I, did I, I, I told you it's like competitive eating. Where it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gulping it down with water. I'm barely even tasting the stuff if I do it right. That's the point. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Enjoying is not the word to use. Get, stop that. Stop that right now. Grab you. And then I guess, yeah. Doing all right as far as a run goes. I'm just saying. Been a hot minute or two since last appearance. Hope y'all are having a wonderful time. I'm feeling pretty good. Is there any other exit? There's not, is there? There's a turkey on the floor, but eh. 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 Strong mustard and hard cheese. God, I'd like some cheese right now. We'll go get a pizza. Yeah, I will go get a pizza. But this, I haven't done that in a while. So if I, like, walked up here, would I be able to... No, I'm really just doing Dracul, cool, am I? Ah, what's your favorite pizza? I usually just go with like standard pepperoni. Cheat day? No, not really. No, oh, so we got six mm, percent damage on bleeding target. I'm gonna do this. Might not be able to get that achievement, but I can get this achievement. Yesterday was pizza day. Yeah, but I didn't get pizza yesterday. I could get pizza today, though. That's the thing. Anyway, what are we doing? Eh. Probably like open wounds if it's got 60% uh, on bleeding. That ah, seems like a good idea. And, you know, even more than that, we should just go down and get... Disengagement, always a safe bet, especially when you're uh, working with three different uh, plus 100% damage. I don't think they stack. I don't think they stack. <laughs> well, ah, let's see how this goes. Today it's just a brick of cheese. I eat a brick of cheese too. I would, I would, I would eat a brick of cheese as well if I didn't have so many Brussels sprouts. You know how that is. Sausage and banana peppers. I do like banana peppers. All right. Summon you up here real quick. Oh, my God. Ah. Okay. Well. That was a frightening start there, but, you know. There you go. <laughs> ah, I should have gotten a critical on here, too, but I, I kind of forgot about that. But, you know. Ah, whatever. It's fine. You know what? Actually, I'm even going to use the last potion charge, given that I'm probably going to die um, if I get hit again. We're doing owl right now. It's owl day, everybody. You know it. You love it. It's the owl. 
Killed him too fast. Can you do it again, but slower? Yes, but later. <laughs> On a different run, in fact. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, there's that start, at least. you don't. Don't hit me there. No! Oh, jeez. That really how I died? I clipped... I Everybody, I clipped through the platform. <laughs> I clipped through the platform somehow. Wow! Yeah, yeah I call shenanigans on that one, too. Like, what? <laughs> how does... I... You know, I uh, I see so few glitches in this game, and then like <laughs> when it really counts, that's when we get one right there. How does that even happen? I don't know. I don't know, but it did. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna go get a get a pizza now. Jeez, what is that even? 